The Prime Minister of Iraq is using his first official visit to Washington this week to pursue billions of dollars in loans. He's meetings lined up with the IMF, the World Bank, as well as oil companies and investment banks. Iraq is facing a budget deficit this year of $22 billion and has taken a, a hit from falling oil prices. The government is trying to restore essential services and rebuild towns and cities damaged in the fighting with Islamic State. Let's speak to geopolitical analysts. Uh, Marco Vincenzino. Thanks so much for coming in. Um, yeah, the, I know that the government's trying to rebuild there, but th presumably the Iraq economy is in a terrible state, isn't it? First and foremost, the Iraqi government is fighting an existential struggle against ISIS, yes. which is costing enormous money. Secondly, you have the drop in the price of oil, which is causing enormous economic difficulties for Iraq in trying to fight that war and putting up, like you said, with post-conflict reconstruction, internally displaced people. The challenges are enormous. Yes. The purpose of his visit to Washington is to gauge the level of U.S. support, both public sector from the U.S. government and also from the private sector. What's in it for the United States? Well, basically, the United States, what it needs is, is, is looking for it's for stability. Since 2003, when the invasion took place, the U.S. has poured billions of dollars into Iraq, and Iraq is, is now is in a bad, very terrible situation. I um, mean, even it's the uh, opposition, ISIS, even has access to many of the U.S. arms that were taken from the Iraqi military last year. What it's ultimately looking for is for form, some form of stability, it's for the Iraqi government to have a government of one of inclusion that allows Sunnis, Kurds, other ethnicities and other minorities to include them in the government. Do you share the, the view the present prime minister does does illustrate that kind of inclusion? He, compared to his predecessors, relatively speaking, he's made more progress. He's done a, a better job. I mean, he's given more revenue to the Kurds in terms of the oil revenue. Uh, he's dismissed about 300 officers and tried to make the, the army more effective. He's included more of the other ethnic groups and ethnicities within the government itself. But still, he's way behind the curve and he has a long way to go. But I think the, in six months, the struggle against ISIS has, has gotten the support of over 60 countries. And part of it's because of a body's policies of the Im slight improvement compared to his predecessor, the, but he has a long way to go. The Pentagon thinks that, uh, in fact, Iraq is gaining territory back from ISIS, doesn't it, in quite a significant way. Do, do you think so? Do you think it is? ISIS is still on the, is, is gradually on the defensive, but if you look at the yeah. Anbar province, it still controls 70 percent. The second largest city in Iraq, Mosul, is still controlled by ISIS. So in order to retake that city, there's going to be a, a huge price to be paid, both economically and in terms of, of human resources. So, yes, they've been made adv advances, but ISIS still remains strong in Syria, has held its ground in Syria, and is gradually expanding. So when one looks at ISIS, you have to look at ISIS in Iraq and ISIS also in Syria. Sure. It's a huge subject, and we haven't got time for everything. Let's just talk about oil, shall we? I mean, it's a pretty obvious question, isn't it? Where, where is that elephant in the room right now, as far as Iraq's concerned? Uh, they're hoping and they're praying that towards the end of 2015, the price of oil will go up. Obviously, it's not going to resolve all their problems, but it will help alleviate their problems. And I think in that sense, probably third, fourth quarter, we'll see a slight rise in the price of oil, where it may stabilize by the end of the year in the $70 range. If that's the case, Iraq is in a better position, but considering its political, economic uh, struggles, uh, the road ahead is a very, very difficult long, one. Long, long way to go. Marco, thanks very much indeed. Thank you. Thank you.